Throughout my life, I've always been fascinated by great tales of travel and adventure. I remember reading books such as Moby Dick, Endurance, and Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, which immersed me in a childlike sense of wonder. As I grow older, the possibility of experiencing real adventure seemingly becomes elusive. As I settle into the flow of life, it becomes evident to me that there is an intrinsic value in doing things that are difficult. That's why I decided to attempt to sail nearly the entire Mississippi Sound, from Cedar Point, Alabama to Waveland, Mississippi, a total of 58 miles in a 1981 14-foot sunfish. This is no remarkable feat of human endurance, nor will it be the first trip of its kind, but nonetheless, it will be an adventure. Herman Melville and Moby Dick says it best. Whenever I find myself growing grim about the mouth, Whenever it's a damp, drizzly November in my soul, whenever I find myself involuntarily pausing before coffin warehouses and bringing up the rear of every funeral I meet, and especially whenever my hypos gets such an upper hand on me that it requires a strong moral principle to prevent me from deliberately stepping into the street and methodically knocking people's hats off, I count it's high time to go to sea as soon as I can. Probably about two hours in or so. Uh, I'm approaching Pascagoula. You can see some of the oil refineries and stuff here on the horizon. I still have this pot of dolphins that's with me. Uh, they've been following me literally for almost the whole trip. Here, check it out. Interesting. There are uh, 
you know, there's duck blinds out here. I'm assuming that's true, but I can't imagine what else it would be. But there's duck blinds out here. And, uh, you know, shots, shots going on. Slow down a little bit. I can see. Uh, I'm not really sure what casino it is, but we'll definitely see a casino down here in Biloxi. It's probably about 3 30, 4 o'clock. Uh, it's probably closer to 3 actually. Now I think about it, my phone just died, so I'm just trying to get a little closer to shore. This stretch of it's the most the safer stretch just because uh, it really just runs parallel to uh, you know, the shore. So. I'm going to hop over here and see how far I can get before the sun goes down. As I put it down and then we dream Life far from this one Or is this life I dream And waking only to find, find, find We'll never stop chasing the sun In the end, I made it a total of 52 miles to the West End Boardwalk in Biloxi. This was short of my goal destination, but the trip reaffirmed to me the old adage, it's not the destination that matters, it's the journey. Oh, is this life I dream? They're waking only to find, find, find. We'll never stop chasing the sun.